Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. This is Scott here, and we are making it happen uh, with the SmackDown results from today, which is September 26, 2017. We are making it happen. Um, you know, SmackDown was a very, very good show. Uh, we had uh, some other things going on here in the world of 102550, the Scott Show. As we had an election happen today, so I covered that on the 435. If you go back, listen to that. Really great stuff. Uh, Roy Moore defeated Luther Strange in the runoff for the uh, Republican primary in Alabama. I also found out that Senator Bob Corker from Tennessee retired, so kind of threw me off for a loop. I came on here 15 minutes late, and I do apologize about that, uh, but... The world of wrestling never stops. I kind of stole that from MLW, and I give a big shout-out to Court Bauer. Um, you know, Court, you're going to get my money coming up here on, the I think it's the 5th of uh, November or October uh, for MLW One Shot. I want to hear Tony Schiavone uh, do the play-by-play, and that's coming up in Orlando on Thursday. But this uh, SmackDown was in Glendale, Arizona. It wasn't in L.A. or uh, anywhere near that as the events were the other week or the other day. But no, it couldn't. uh, You know, they even had Raw in um, Ontario, California. Now they had, at least they brought it to Glendale, Arizona, right next to Phoenix uh, to make it happen for, for SmackDown. Well, Kevin Owens came out on SmackDown and said, you know, hey... Uh, I respect Vince. What I did to Vince, um, you know, was what happened. But when I see Shane, you know, what am I going to do to you? To you? Uh, out comes Sami Zayn saying, you know, what did you do? You hit the boss. You know, crazy. You hit the boss. And then Sami gets berated by Kevin Owens saying, you know, I made it up to the main roster before you. I, you know, beat you in NXT. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Daniel Bryan comes out saying, "Hey, you guys want to have a fight? Let's have let's have that match tonight. That will be your main event." Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, we knew it was going to happen. A shock of all shocks, it happens again. So then we have a match between Ty Dillinger and Baron Corbin. And can I say, folks, I like Baron Corbin a little bit more now. I really actually want to see him hold the United States title, only to ha- see. The fact that he has the title, uh, AJ can go for the chase a little bit, uh, hold him off until Shinsuke wins the WWE Championship, which I think will happen. I think Shinsuke is going to be your champion, and it's going to be Styles and Shinsuke at, at WrestleMania. I, I'm not going to go away from that. That's what I think. Your Raw match is going to be the biggest, followed by maybe a special match or something. Uh, will be your biggest match from WrestleMania, but I think your your big time wrestle uh, fandom match is going to be Shinsuke and uh, AJ Styles. So I think AJ Styles will hold on to the title a little bit more, at least be in the fight. Um, but that's just me fantasy booking, and now we're talking SmackDown. It's Baron Corbin won a match by countout um, over Ty Dillinger, AJ Styles. Um, Gets on the mic, and you know, Baron Corbin gets on the mic and says, "Hey, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna beat you up at Hell in a Cell. Um, I'm gonna take your title." And AJ really doesn't say anything too much about that. It's just what happens. And then the Pride of Bulgaria celebration happens with Rusev. That's still to come. Um, Jinder Mahal comes out, folks. We always get messages here. Oh, that's funny. Uh, somebody, somebody's talking about my exercising. Didn't see me going crazy today. Okay, I do apologize, folks. Sometimes we get a little, uh, get some notes here, and so there you go. All right, so Jinder Mahal comes out and says, "Hey, you know, I made fun of Shinsuke. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Well, here's his face, and here's his face. And when I was watching this, I watch it on a live stream because I can't actually watch it. I don't have." Uh, cable because I totally cut the cord uh, but the person the people who were talking in the live stream because I watch it chat so I can get a little better you know have a little bit of fun with it they're like well was this last week's 
because they just thought that it was last week. And so they kept showing photos of Nakamura, and the last one they showed was really weird because it, they said, this is what his face is going to look like when he gets defeated. And then they brought up a picture, and it didn't look like anything that he was going to get defeated on. It actually looked like uh, something that you would probably see if uh, maybe he was, oh, I don't know, live? And what what did he do? He went live, and you saw Shinsuke Nakamura. Then he came out, got beat up by the brothers, uh, then beat them up. Um, he blocked the Coloss, or what, the finisher of Jinder Mahal, which I think is such a weak finisher. I think it's even more, it's weaker than the AA, and that's saying something, because that AA is weak as crap. Uh, so Nakamura... Uh, hits Jinder Mahal with the Kinshasa. What they need to do is they need to have the Hell in the Cell with Jinder Mahal and Shinsuke and no Singh brothers. That's what I want to see. I think the Singh brother thing is going a little too far. Um, so that's just what I think. The New Day comes out to with snacks and popcorn to watch the next match. You see that um, it's the Uzos against the Hype Bros. Not really excited about this match. Uh, this was actually when I had to announce the uh, the winner, so I was kind of watching it. I did see New Day having a great time. Um, and it looks like they're going to have a Hell in a Cell match with the Uzos and the uh, New Day. Uzos win the match, by the way. Um, which, that's irrelevant because you knew it was going to happen. Uzos were still getting the title shot. Uh, but they're going to have the match in Hell in a Cell. So, there you go. It's going to be the New Day and the Uzos. Now, what are they going to do um, with the New Day that they have three people? Is one going to stand outside the cell? Um, how are they going to do that? I'm very interested to see what happens there. I think the last time they did one where they just said, Hey, uh, Woods didn't come down because he didn't, he didn't want to throw off the fact it was a two-on-two -two match. Uh, so... The Pride of Bulgaria celebration for Rusev starts. Aiden English gets in the ring. He uh, he sings a little bit. And then Aiden introduced the man who's supposed to be uh, the mayor of the city that Rusev is from. So now Rusev gets all these accolades, uh, which is kind of funny because that's his finisher. Um, but he gets this weird thing where he gets the thing from Russia and now he gets the key from his own city. And, you know, it's whatever. Uh, so Rusev gets the key to the city. Uh, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was just really weird. Uh, Rusev said, it's my jungle now. Um, and it's Rusev day. And English starts singing. Orton hits him with the RKO. And then um, Orton hits Rusev with the RKO. And then that's it. And I thought it was really weird, but it did set up something uh, something else. And we'll just see what goes on with that when it gets announced. Alright, so Sami Zayn is backstage, says, Hey, I don't want Shane McMahon interfering in my match. I don't need it, don't want it. And, you know, see what happens. Carmella and Charlotte fight, but before that happened, I do want to get back to this uh, Randy Orton uh, thing. What happened is he went up to Renee Young and he said, you know, when Rusev wakes up from that RKO, uh, tell him that I'll see him at Hell in a Cell. Uh, by the way, happy Rusev Day. So at least he knows it is Rusev Day. I didn't cover that on the show today, uh, this morning on the wake-up call. Didn't get that at checkiday.com. Um, by the way, if you guys want to know what uh, special uh, national days it is, checkiday.com has all your information and we announce those every morning on the Scott Show Wake Up Call. Check it out. Okay, now, out of that commercial, uh, you got Charlotte Flair and Carmella. And Flair wins the match. Uh, Carmella can take as many losses as she wants to. She's a Miss Money in the Bank. So she got the contract. Um, so, like I said, she can take all the losses that, uh, that she can or she wants or however it works. It does not matter because... She still has the title shot, so it is what it is on that, folks. Um, I did want to <clears throat> say that Natalia came about after that, 
and said, I'm so glad your dad's feeling better. Um, I'm so glad he can see you wrestle in Hell in a Cell when I beat you. Of course, you know, whatever. Um, and that happens. The Fashion Files are coming back next week. Thank God Tyler Breeze is coming back and Fandango. Um, I really like Tyler Breeze. I really wish they would show that match with him and uh, Juice and Thunder Liger like every day. So you do hear the Undertaker's entrance come up and it's Dolph Ziggler dressed up as the dead man. Which I thought was like, wow, okay, what the hell. And then Bobby Roode comes out, and I really thought that Ziggler was going to come out as Bobby Roode first, um, which I thought would have been really funny, but he didn't. And Ziggler and Roode are going to be fighting in Hell in a Cell, which if that that was a way to set up the the whole deal, um, yeah, it, it's interesting. But Ziggler still played it up and said anybody who steps in the ring with him will rest in. And uh, didn't get the word peace out. Uh, Rude puts his finger up to him and you know hushes him and says, "Well, Helen, so will be absolutely glorious." And of course, I love that song, and it used to be my phone ring. Uh, now the main event match: Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Uh, it was a great match. You know, these two know each other so well; they're always going to put on a great match. Uh, you can get a good match out of these guys just because uh, they don't they don't even need to know what they're doing. They can read each other so well. Um, the commercial went and happened, and then you saw Commissioner McMahon. Uh, I, I hate these titles they got. Just call them Stephanie and Shane, please. You know, they're McMahons. Everybody knows they're in charge. Uh, so the whole commissioner and general manager and all this other crap, I get it. If they're McMahon, just say they're a McMahon. You know, they don't need the commissionership. Yeah, because I think it's really kind of confusing. You know, call them an owner or whatever, because they are. They're the McMahon family. They own the WWE. You know, and then you have a general manager. The owner, general manager. Don't need the commissioner thing. I think it's kind of stupid. Uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens keep on having a great match after the commercial. Um, you know, you do get that this is awesome chant that you normally get during a match like this. A lot of Sami Zayn matches have that, but he normally loses in them. And then he hits the power bomb on the uh, apron, and the ref just calls it off. And I think they did that because of time. I don't think that it was actually set up that it was a good idea to do that. It's just one power bomb on the apron. You see that happen a lot. Um, and I think Sammy can take it and keep going on, but who knows. Uh, so you did do the um, the referee calls for help, and everybody comes out, including Adam Pierce, who is the former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, Scrap Iron Pierce. Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Um, And then out comes Shane. And Shane runs down. And Rowan's actually tosses Sammy into Shane, which I thought was funny. And then books it through the crowd, runs up to like the 19th row, and then waves at him. Uh, So you have the main event for Hell in a Cell. It looks like it is going to be the main event. Which I thought was weird too because normally they put on the belt last, but not this time. It's a McMahon match, so they're not going to do that at all. So folks, that has been the SmackDown. I'm going to w- go watch 205 Live, see what happens with Enzo Amore. I am honestly surprised I'm saying that I'm going to go watch 205 Live. But I really, really want to see what happens with these guys and see uh, see what how it breaks down. So folks... Um, Like I said, my name is Scott with The Scott Show. I'm here every morning with The Scott Show Wake Up Call. It's on the main show uh, if you are checking out all our channels. We have eight channels, so we have six of them right up now. And then two more coming in the next few days. And I'm going to be announcing those. Super excited about those. Uh, Just got those set up today. We are going to be uh, making it happen, making lots of podcasts and Facebook videos and YouTube videos and all over every way that we can get our word out of well, what we do here on the Scott Show and the 102550 Homeless Project, we will get the word out. We'll make things happen because we got to end homelessness, folks. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that's my main objective is to end homelessness. And I want to have fun talking about wrestling. I'm going to have fun talking about all these different things I get to talk about. 
here on the Scott Show podcast. We do it up every single day. The wake up call starts us off, and then we have podcasts all day long. So check us out tomorrow for the NFL Picks Show. We'll also have the 102550 show, and we do have the wake up call, and then we'll have a few more shows sporadically throughout the day, and maybe even our seventh channel. Maybe we'll have something on there too. So we're going to leave you guys a little uh, a little Hear the Noise. Uh, it's just a little clip of a song. And we will check you guys out real soon. And don't forget to watch 205 Live and check out what happens with Enzo Amore. Mm-hmm.